April 17, 1013, Abdullah, a Moorish historian, was killed at the taking of Cordova, his native city. 1421, an inundation of the rivers at Dort, in Holland, which swept away 100,000 persons, and destroyed 72 villages. 1434, the ice broke up at Paris, which had continued from the 1st of January. Snow fell in Holland 40 days successively during the same winter. 1492, the Spanish sovereigns, Ferdinand and Isabella, signed at Granada their grant to Columbus, constituting him hereditary admiral and viceroy over all the islands and continents he should discover during his expedition, with the benefit of a tithe of the profits arising from the merchandise found within his admiralty. 1537. The river Simto, in Sicily, overflowed its banks, and destroyed 500 houses with the neighboring castles, and all the wood was uprooted by a storm. 1575. William Davenant, a learned German, died. He was the friend and confidant of the leaders of the Reformation, as well as of every man of learning and consequence, of the age. His works are numerous. 1610. Henry Hudson sailed on his last voyage. 1613. A prodigious monster born at Edlington, England, with two bodies joined to one back. It was described by a reverend gentleman, in a pamphlet entitled, Strange News. 1670. Eric Daniel Acrelius, a Swedish philosopher and professor at Abbo, died, aged 66. 1688. George Villiers, Duke of Buckingham, died. He distinguished himself as a statesman, a poet and dramatic writer but his character both in public and private. Life was extremely reprehensible. 1697. Charles XI, King of Sweden, died. Successful as a warrior and accounted a just prince. 1704. The Boston Newsletter, the first newspaper printed in the North American colonies, was commenced at Boston by John Campbell, who was a bookseller and postmaster, and printed by B. Green. 1711. Joseph I, 15th Emperor of Austria, died. He was crowned King of Hungary, 1687, elected King of the Romans, 1690, and succeeded to the Empire of Germany, 1705. 1761. Benjamin Hoadley, Bishop of Winchester, died, aged 85. He was a great controversialist, and started a question which occupied the press a number of years. His works comprise four volumes folio. 1765. Lord Byron convicted before the House of Peers in London of manslaughter and slaying Mr. Chaworth in a duel, being a privileged peer, burning in the hand, was dispensed with, and he was discharged on the payment of fees. 1770. Great illumination of the City of London, on account of the liberation of the celebrated politician, Mr. Wilkes, from prison. 1777. Henry Woodward, a celebrated English comedian and harlequin, died, aged 60. His death was occasioned by an accident as he was jumping upon a table in the character of Scrub. 1780. Engagement between the British fleet under Rodney and the French, Admiral de Guichon, in the West Indies. The French took shelter under Guadeloupe, where the British were too much crippled to follow. 1784. Universal religious equality created by law in New York. 1790. Benjamin Franklin, the American printer, statesman and philosopher, died. He was born at Boston, 1706, and went to Philadelphia at an early age, 
where he spent the remainder of his life. His public career is well known. His private life, written by himself, is full of counsel, and cautions, and examples of prudence, and economy, and is the largest work he ever composed. 1794. The Russians expelled from Warsaw by the Poles. 1796. The French Convention decreed that all printers of journals should be personally liable for the contents of their papers, as well as the hawkers, sellers, and posters of periodical papers. 1816. An Act for Improving the Internal Navigation of the State of New York, embracing the Erie and Champlain Canals, became a law. Stephen Van Rensselaer, to Wood Clinton, Samuel Young, Joseph Ellison, and Myron Holly were created commissioners, and $70,000 appropriated to the purpose. 1817. Seven Luddits hanged at Leicester, England. Luddits was a name given to malcontents who went about destroying labor-saving machinery. 1830. Navigation of the Black Sea opened to American vessels. 1834. Ivan Petrovich Martus died, formerly director of the Academy of Fine Arts at St. Petersburg, and one of the most eminent sculptors of the age. His works are found in the principal cities of Russia. 1835. William Henry Ireland died. He rendered himself notorious by an attempt to impose on society some dramatic compositions of his own, as relics of those of Shakespeare. He confessed himself the author, and fully exonerated his father who had been implicated in the fraud. 1837. Joseph Anderson, an American statesman, died at Washington, age 80. He was a native of Pennsylvania, and served in the New Jersey line throughout the Revolutionary War. 1837. Henry Vose died at Woodville, Mississippi, of smallpox. He was distinguished at the West Point School as a proficient in mathematics, and was subsequently connected with the press in Mississippi, to which he contributed extensively in geography statistics and history. 1837. United States sloop of war Natchez captured a Mexican brig of war, after having made a formal demand upon the Mexican authorities to release six American vessels which had been illegally captured. 1838. John Relaye died at Troy, aged 104. 1843. Alexander Proudfit, pastor of the Associate Reformed Church at Salem, Washington County, New York, and secretary of the New York Colonization Society, died, aged 75. 1849. The steamer General Pike burned on the Mississippi, when Col. Butler of Texas, with several others, perished in the flames. 1850. James Tom, the sculptor, died at New York. 1852. Etienne Maurice Gerard died in Paris, aged 74. He entered the army in 1791, and was engaged in the battles of Fleurus and Austerlitz, and in those of the disastrous Russian campaign, became a marshal and peer of France, and twice held the place of minister of war. 1854. Riot at Saginaw, Michigan. Some 300 armed men attempted to burn the jail, and rescue certain prisoners. The sheriff and others were killed. 1854. The Winchester, an emigrant ship from Liverpool for Boston, was wrecked, and a large number of passengers lost. 1855. A new planet of the 11th magnitude was discovered by Luther, at the observatory of Bilk, near Dusseldorf. 1855. Petropolowski deserted by its inhabitants, and its fortifications destroyed, and what stores could not be removed were burned. 
1856. The peace conference at Paris terminated, for the settlement of the war in the Crimea between Russia on the one side, and England, France and Turkey on the other. Thank <laughs> you.